Half a day, Chirwami and Good Evening Commonwealth. Today is Wednesday, October 5th, 2011. The Retirement Board held an emergency meeting Tuesday afternoon to address urgent matters concerning the retirement fund. Among many issues discussed included the decision for the fund to invest its assets into mutual funds, approving Vanguard as the preferred mutual fund. The, ret the Retirement Board estimates that the fund assets now stand at about $265.9 million. Retirees are concerned. It was a full house at the American Memorial Park Theater where the Commonwealth Retiree Association members came out to voice their concerns for the retirement fund. I understand from talking to some of the legislators that every budget year they include the money that is supposed to go to retirement fund. The question is, why isn't the money paid to retirement fund? 6-2 Igisamar and Richard Villagomez from the Retirement Fund was present to answer some questions. You're absolutely right. Uh, every year there is an amount that's budgeted. Uh, for FY11, that amount was about $16, $17 million. Uh, what I reported to you earlier, uh, the amount that actually came to the Retirement Fund for the local employees was around $400,000. So yes, you're right. Uh, the money is just not coming to the retirement fund despite uh, us taking it to court. One member says the government needs to do more. The assets of the government have to be given up in some way, shape, or form. It can't just come to the retirees after an obligation, as several people have mentioned, a you know, contractual obligation with a a court order to pay and then they get off by us just conceding to take less benefits. You know, there's going to have to be a, a major concession. I, don't, I encourage the board members to fight for that, whatever it's going to be, but we don't just take some cut and because it'll just happen again. I mean, it's just a never-ending story. It'll be dead maybe in five years or seven. Igisoma says that the government must prioritize paying the retirement fund. They need to sense the urgency to prioritize and I will recommend it. We have recommended that you at least pay all the other applications that the CMI government pays, like the bonds or whatever. And then underneath, if you religiously every year set aside some money and you assure the retirees that it's a line item budget appropriation, every year you're going to get this. This is reserved for you so that you can take care of it and prolong the life of the fund. And then after that, at the bottom of it, uh, operations for the government. If they do that, I'm hoping that you guys can go up there and say, can we look at it that way, please? Board members have a message for the government. The government owes me, and yet they're coming to me and telling me, I'm sorry, we owe you, but we're not going to pay you because we, we uh, choose to uh, remain fatty in the government. <laughs> so we want you to cut your pay, and, and so we can continue to get our full pay. I mean, what kind of logic is that? Give me a break. Every penny helps. Yeah, I agree with you. You got a whole second floor of, uh, part of the second floor of the retirement. Let the government take all of those uh, government offices in the private sectors and put them there and, and rent from there so they can pay you guys the money. One member says that he will not accept any cuts on his retirement benefits. We have a relation with the government wherein they are the employers and we are the employees. We've done our share. The government has not done its share. They try to renege on the contract between employer and employee right from the beginning. I'm not going to stand still and allow this to happen. I'll be darned if I'm going to give up the amount of money that, I'm, that is due from the government to me. Because I only have a few years to live and I want to enjoy.